So, so let's move on um, to a couple of more things that I have to talk about before we get to the meat of the show. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Yes. Now, in but it was in his heart. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Well, in 1957, which is when that story came out, severe cardiac elephantitis syndrome, or Grinch's disease as it came to be known, would have been a guaranteed death sentence. Hospitals and doctors in 1957 weren't prepared for the rash of Grinch's disease patients in the late 50s. But you got to realize, again, it's the late 50s, so back then it was common for doctors to drink scotch and smoke Chesterfield cigarettes while doing surgery. It was a different time, buddy. <laughs> It was a different time. Thankfully, in the decades since that book came out, scientists have discovered the amazing healing powers of the fruits that grow naturally in truffula trees, which everyone knows is now used to combat GD or Grinch's disease. So we've come a long way. We've come a long way in the fight against GD, Grinch's disease. Very yes, proud. but the fight isn't over. Yes, so the fight please, is over. please give. Please give generously to the Pope on film. Fighting Grinch's disease. We are the only podcast yes. that dares to talk about the dreaded Grinch's disease. Yes. Wow. Way to not care about people's health, Kevin Smith. <laughs> He's too busy little bitching about how Bruce Willis was rude. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're trying to save lives. Lives! That's right. That's right. Hell yeah. So, and you can still give it to the Hungry Actor Fund as well. Yeah, yeah. We still so, support that. 